say I love Los Angeles is to say I love its shadows and night lights, its meandering streets, the stretch of sunset-colored beaches. It's to say I love the squawky wild parrots, the palm trees that fail to topple in robust winds, that within a half hour of LA Center, you can comport in snow, deserts, mountains, beaches. This is a multi-layered city, unceremoniously built on hills, valleys, ravines. Flying into Burbank Airport in the day, you observe gradations of trees and earth. A city seems to be an afterthought, skyscrapers popping up from the greenery, guarded by the mighty San Gabriels. Layers of history reach deep, run red, scarring the soul of the city, a land where Chinese were lynched, Mexican resistance fighters hounded, workers and immigrants exploited, Japanese removed to concentration camps, blacks forced from farmlands in the south, then segregated, diminished. Here also are blessed native lands, where first peoples like the Tatavium and Tangva bonded with nature's gifts. People of peace, deep stature, loving hands. Yet for all my love, I also pour the poison time. Starting with Spanish settlers, the missions where 80% of natives who lived and worked in them died. To the ruthless murder of Indians during and after the gold rush, the worst slaughter of tribes in the country. From all manner of uprisings, a city of acceptance began to emerge. This is Riot City after all. More civil disturbances in Los Angeles in the past 100 years than any other city. To truly love LA, you have to see it with different eyes. A skew, perhaps, beyond the fantasy-induced Hollywood spectacles. LA is also known for the most violent street gangs, the largest skid row, the greatest number of poor. Yet I loved LA even during heroin-induced nods, or running down rain-soaked alleys or getting shot at, even when I slept in abandoned cars alongside the concrete river and during all-night movie showings in downtown Art Deco theaters. The city beckoned as I tried to escape the prison-like grip of its shallowness sun-soaked image, suburban quiet, all disarming, hiding the murderous heart that can be at its center. LA is also lovers' embraces, the most magnificent lies, the largest commercial ports, graveyard ships, poetry readings, murals, low-riding culture, skateboarding, a sound that hybridized black, Mexican, as well as Asian and white migrant cultures. You wouldn't have musicians like Richie Valens, The Doors, War, Los Lobos, Charles Wright and the Watts 103rd Street Rhythm Band, Hiroshima, Motley Crue, NWA, or Quetzal, without Los Angeles. Or John Fante, Chester Himes, Charles Bukowski, Maricela Norte, and Wanda Coleman as its jester poets. I love LA. I can't forget its smells. I love to make love in LA. It's a great city, a city without a handle, the world's most mixed metropolis of intolerance and divisions. How I love it, how I hate it. Zutsu riots, can't stay away. City of hunger, city of angers. Ruben Salazar, Rodney Keene. I like to kick its face in. Bone city, dried blood on walls, wildfires hunting dove whales, car fumes and oil derricks, water thievery with every industry possible, and still a one industry town, lined by those majestic palm trees, and like its people, with solid roots, supple trunks, resilient. <laughs>